How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host Belsif. I just finished running around the freaking front yard trying to get the tarp on the truck because I moved my old truck out in the driveway so I can work on the Silverado. So welcome to the channel. Hopefully you stick around for this video. What we're going to attempt to do today is change some knock sensors in the Chevy Silverado. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a drink or coffee and let's have at her. I'll point this camera down. I'll point this camera right here actually and uh, see where we get. So if any of you are wondering what we're doing today, we're changing the knock sensors on a 4.8 LS along with um, oil pressure and sending unit. And we're gonna pop the screen out and leave the screen out. I lost my oil pressure gauge and I'm pretty sure that's what's causing it, but we'll have to find out. So first thing we need to do is we're gonna get this big giant air box thingamabobber out of the way. The young fella Spencer from work is coming over. He wants to help. So I said, yeah, come on over. You can always use help. You never say no to help. That'd be silly. As long as they don't piss you off, then help sucks. But he's a pretty good kid, so he did a little piss me off. There we go. There's that piece. Oh, we got a little doodad down here we gotta remove. See it? I do. Get down in here. I'll give that a little fing how you doing off there. I said, how you doing? There you go. Perfect. We'll take this off of here, like so. I should check the air breathing this thing. I will someday. And this should come out of the way. There we go. So there's the air intake off. What kind of cobbled up looking thing is that? I have no idea. Look at the injection system on the floor eight. How you doing? Oh, she's a fly-by wire, Captain. Friggin' right it is. I'm gonna take this throttle body right off, get it out of the way as well. Why wouldn't I? So we'll knock these off. Obviously that's not a 10 mil, hold on. Oh, great. here we go. Half my socks are missing. Why wouldn't they be? It's gotta be a 10 mil. Well, that can't be a 10 mil. What size is this? 7 16 All right, so that'd be why it's not a 10 mil because it's standard, not metric. Let's try this 10 mil. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You see? Probably not. Perfect. All right. So we'll get that off, get this off. We'll take this off and we'll take this off. Obviously I have a fly-by wire system. I thought it was cable, but I guess not. She's a fly-by how you doing? So we'll stick this over here like so. I need a little scooper duper to hold my doodads. Here, let's use this one. Ah, oh, yeah. I should put some gloves on too. There we go. That's mint. So we'll set that over here. Oh, oh. We're gonna slap some gloves on here. We're gonna move up to the uh, harness area. And we're gonna loosen up some of these harnesses we are. 10 four. What is it, just one? Sure is. So there we go, get that out of the way. We'll take this plug off. We're gonna release this guy, maybe. Might need a pick to do that. A pick, I said. I said a pick. How can I not have a pick? The reason why I moved the truck into the garage today is because it's windy out. One thing you all know, when it's windy out, it's very hard to make a video. There should be a release here somewhere on this. Maybe, where are you? That one, there it is. Get that out of the way. Terrible. This thing's gonna be a bitch. We might have to move it too. We gotta release the pressure in the fuel line, or should I say the fuel rail, which is under here, I think. There it is. Give that a little squirt. Oh, hey, we have pressure, Jim. That's a good thing. That means no leaks. Okay, that's good. Pressure off that side. We'll get some pressure off this side. Oh, that's not pressure. Hold on a minute. What am I on here? Not what I wanted, Jim. Must be further back, or maybe there's only one. I don't know, I'm new with this stuff. Oh, look, we got an airline here closed off. That's fucking decent. Well, I'm gonna get this wire out of the way. I'm gonna take my alternator wire off. It looks like it's in my way, so it's coming off. It looks like it's in the way. Normally it's in the way, if you know what I'm saying. Pull that over that, and we'll slap it over here somewhere where it's not gonna hit ground because I'm not hooking my battery because I don't feel like restart my stereo and everything else. I'm not happening. We're gonna pull all the pins off of the injectors. It shouldn't be bad, I don't think. Maybe, somehow. These have got to lift up somehow. Oh, I bet you need enough. Where the f are all my pick tools? 
Oh, I think I went too far. Sure did. That's okay though. There, now you get to see how they work. So you don't have to quite go up that far. Yeah, just one click. Listen to that window out there. She's a blowing, Captain. One injector. Can you see me? Probably not. Oh, oh careful, throttle buddy. How you doing? Oh man. Two injectors. There we go. How you doing? Those are quite the little pins they got there, Jim. Hey. I should let the arrow to the front tires in this thing. Give me some more damn room. Ow. Hose still hot. Everything's still hot. No wonder why I'm sweating. That was the first one I didn't take the gray thing all the way off. That's pretty good. One more, boys. And it's way back here. How you doing? Oh, my F. Well, I need that. I'm not a fan of the removing the injector plugs. Isn't it great that they made it so you have to remove the intake to change the knock sensor? What's really going on? Come on. I said, come on. I said, come on. There it is. Got it. I'm going to put this back on after I get the intake off. Holy cow. Other side. Hey, speaking of other side, I can't even see it. I think we have to take off some more bolts and stuff, eh? Yeah, let's get them 10 mils out. Oh, yeah. Perfect. One more. 10 mil ratchet. Can you see anything? Probably not. Good carver in the way? Probably. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Hey, hey, hey. This job's not too bad. It's pretty easy. It'd be easier if all this shit wasn't here. Uh oh. There it goes. Okay, that's off. Take this out of here. Whatever it is. Oh, it's holding hooks. Oh, it's for the engine cover. That's what it is. Okay, now what else we got? We got a hose over here. This probably needs to come off. I'm gonna say we're halfway there right now. There we go. That's out. Now. You should unplug this. That'll give me a little bit more of room this way. Perfect. Now we gotta take the fuel line off. Excellent. Get that out of there. We picked up a tool for that today. What size we got? Right there. Push that in. What is here? What's this? Oh, put itself right back on again. That's pretty slick. What is that? That's gonna come out with the intake. So that tells you that, oh, that thing's gonna come off. There we go. Perfect, move that over there. There goes the clip, don't lose that song, bitch. Okay, fuel line, we're still working on that. We'll get her, don't you worry. I'm gonna take a break from it, so I'm gonna go for the, uh, we'll go for the uh, injectors on this side. Oh, look where that one is. Holy cow, it's down there, Captain. I don't like these good injector plugs. They're kind of a dick. I wonder if I use a pair of pliers or needle nose if I go like this. Bend to pull. Oh yeah, that's better. Bend pull oh perfect bend pull i found a new way captain it's a bend pull method where's this one did i get it already already got that one so now we want hook lift hook lift hook lift perfect hook lift hook 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 lift what my truck i'm gonna pull the intake to change a knock sensor are you serious yeah you gonna pull the whole head thing off or this whole this is all gonna come off. Are you serious? Yep. Oh fuck, I'll leave it with you, man. Yeah, it's no big deal. Oh fuck your head, man. Go ahead. I don't know how you got the patience. Huh? I got the patience. Gives you lots of patience when you save money. Depends who you are, I guess. Wait, Right on, what are you doing? I'm about to more the winds to work now. You are? Well, they called me yesterday to go down to the battery plant. The new battery plant they're going for the car. Oh yeah. For the old electric bullshit. Yeah, I'll go down there. I got I got trained on Tuesday. And then maybe we don't, I don't know, see what happens. The money's right. Yeah, 200 bucks tax free a day, so. Is that right? Yeah, that's decent. Well, then you have to get a fucking motel and food and everything like that too, right? So, for 90 bucks a night, so I'll Yeah. I want to bunk up with somebody. I'm not going to bunk up with somebody. I got to get a room with somebody else. I can split the room, right? Oh, yeah. But yeah. you're not going to? I'd pay the extra too. I hate bunk up. Yeah. I used to pay extra when I went with Speedy to these fucking seminars and yeah. shit. Okay. I want to jerk off my own room. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, well, that's that's kind of a secret, though. That one, no, <laughs> so there we go. All right, so now that we get that off, let's go over the fuel line again. See if we can't get this mother out of the way because it's not very, doesn't look like it's gonna be very fun to get off. It shows it pretty easy, you just gotta pull, rub. 
twist. Well. I'm gonna say it still had pressure on it. It's all right though. It don't have pressure now. There it is. Off. How's the camera lens? Did I get you covered in fuel? No, oh, how you doing? Pretty good, good. How you doing? Good, good. Okay, back at her, here we go. Now what we need to do is probably get this thing off here so I can see what the hell's going on. How does that come off? Oh, it looks like it's got a thingy that goes this way, that way, and the other way. So if I give this a little rub, it might not do anything, but it's gotta, gotta get that off there. I'll tell you one thing, I don't have much for stool around here. Does that go like that? No, oh yeah, there it goes. We got it. Don't forget to put that back on. 10-4. So now what we need is, I think it's ready to come off, to be honest with you. Sure looks like it. Let's try it. What size are those, I wonder? No friggin' way the intake's an eight. Eight millimeter, take the intake off, Jim. We're gonna have to torque these back on too. I'm pretty sure that, oh, and more. There is a piece of foam on these intakes and it's not going back in, just saying. Kizzy, how you doing? Where's this light? This one work? And work? Ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, I'm too old for this shit. Nope, that's not it. That's a fuel rail. Oh, it's way back there. Come on. Why wouldn't you? Oh, dick. Okay, this knuckle thing can What the fuck is that supposed to be? Thing fucks up every time. All I can say to that is, okay, where were we? Shorter, here we go. We're going in, Jim. Cover me. I can't see. Where? I can't, I can't see, I said. Oh, maybe I can see now. Can you see? Probably not. How you doing? Not good. Uh, where are you? Nope. Maybe. Oh, there it is. Next. Where are you? Next. Gotcha. I think that's it. Let's go to this side. Don't move the stuff before you lose the stuff. Isn't that what they say? Move it before you lose it? All right, here we go. Cover me, Jim. Going in. Where'd my light go? Okay, so I got them two. I got that one. This one. How is the battery fing dead? What in the F? Oh, so the charger's not even charging. That's exactly how I want it to work. F you. My batteries weren't charging, Joe. I don't know if I got enough juice to let her get better or D do D. Probably not. Okay, next. Can you see it? Probably not. I lost my socket. Can I reach it? Yes, I can. Is the intake loose? Yes, it is. Will it lift out? Probably not. Here we go, let's get right in here. See if we can't lift it. Ready? Oh, that thumb's holding. We got a bolt still in. We got one that's holding. Is that it? Maybe not. Try this again, ready? Oh, come on. Things did we drop the cylinder all? We're gonna find out. Oh, we got something on the back. Hang on, her. What do we got back there? Captain, what are you? What are you doing? Oh, it's that thing. I'm gonna take it off here. That looks easier. Brake booster. Vacuum sucker. Hey, the vacuum sucker still hooked up. Why wouldn't you? Oh, I got a bird's nest. Decent. Living in the old Chevy Silverado. We're definitely getting out a vacuum cleaner. That's for damn sure. That's probably why my knock sensor stopped working. Oh, I probably chewed my wire for my oil pressure sender unit. Or maybe my knock sensors. 
Oh, look at the stuff inside the combustion chamber now. All right, there we go. Now we can get her out. Here we go. I'm all caught on everything. There it is. There's the intake, Jim. So the things we're gonna change today are not even here. I don't have knock sensors under the intake. Well, what in the flying fuck? That's awesome. So I obviously didn't do my research on this. The 4.8 this year is down on the head underneath the starter and above the manifold on the side. So I pulled this off to change the uh, oil pressure center unit. But that's okay because I noticed that I have a little bit of an intake leak anyways. So I got new gaskets for that. So, you know, lost one, gain two. Lost two, gain one. But... It is what it is. So let's change the oil sensor anyways, and then we'll have one thing done. Cause there's a screen in there that supposedly plugs it up. And my gauge, like I said, don't work. So hopefully this fixes a problem. We're gonna find out shortly, like really shortly. Wrong side, why wouldn't I? Man, I'm glad I changed that. I'm glad I took them out. It makes me feel really good to know that I pulled my intake so I could change this oil sending unit. Hey, sometimes you're not as smart as you look, but other times you are. So there you go. Can I reach it? Probably not. Oh my God, I'm gonna fall. Gotta do some climbing here. Yeah. Oh, careful. Is it, can you see? I can't. All right, there we go. Turn that sucker out of there. I can't believe. I just go by what I thought instead of what was. I'm an idiot. So that's out. Now we're gonna yank the screen out because there's a screen in there somewhere. So we'll grab a hook tool for that. Oh, you got it? It doesn't matter anyways. The knock sensors aren't under the intake. They're on the block. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. There's two in under the intake. No, there's not. There's a plate there. You take the plate off, they're right there. It's showing my 4.8 they're under the manifolds on the side of the block. No, Chef. Chef, pick up? Yeah. Yeah, they're under the fucking end. Nope. There's a, there's a plate there, though. Nope. There's no wires going into that plate, my man. And I looked it up, and on this year, it's right above the starter here. and right on the other side of the lock. You young punks don't know everything, you know. Because obviously, I don't even know. See? Break. Four eights. So I took the thing apart to change the oil sensor anyway. Okay. I'll be there in two. 10 where is my pick tool gone? Oh my God. I dropped it, didn't I? Fucking right, I dropped it. Where'd I drop it too? Oh my God. It's gone. Well, we got her back together. The oil pressure center unit is working. Now I have a gauge again, so at least I fixed one thing. I smell some stuff burning off, but that's probably because I blew a whole bunch of shit all over the place, so that's probably gonna burn off for a minute. I gotta change the knock sensors. They're on the side of the block. So if you have an early model 4.3 with a fly by wire your knock sensors are not under the intake on the 48 check before you pull it apart don't do what i did they're on the side of the block spencer's gonna change it for me on the hoist on monday yeah, okay. oh okay he's not gonna change it for me but anyways it's back again it's running i better show you to prove it that we fixed something look at oil pressure gauge it's working hey there's no engine lights on either but we erased the code but it's definitely knock sensor on bank b and O2 sensor, so we might have to put an O2 sensor in it. But there you go, it runs good. Sorry the video wasn't, you know, professional. Like I said at the beginning of all my videos, if you read it properly, I'm not a professional, Captain. So hopefully everybody have a good day. And until the next one, I'll see you then.